would say just about every day I lose my car. I cannot remember where I parked. Damn, the hail damage though. Alright, well, where the heck is my car? If you know me in real life, you know that I lose my car all the time. When I'm late, it's normally because I couldn't find my car. Finally found my car. If you're wondering how does this girl lose her car, there's no assigned parking here, so I have to park somewhere different every single day, and sometimes, you know, I'll park twice in a day, and I don't always remember, you know, where I had put it, or I'm on the phone, or just whatever, and it just, kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I'm on the phone, sometimes I'm bringing in groceries, so it's just, I'm not always paying attention. But anyway, I'm gonna see if they have the rotisserie chicken. I'm determined to get the rotisserie chicken in one of these vlogs. I'm going to get it. Especially the dogs would rather have that or have that mixed in with their food, so normally we share it. But I don't know, I haven't been able to get my hands on one lately. If I can't get it, I'm gonna have crab and then we'll share that, but... There's obviously not as much to share with the dogs when I get crab because I like to eat it and there's overall just not as much meat when I get crab. But anyway, that's kind of the plan. It's a little bit earlier, but it's still like really not early enough to guarantee the rotisserie chicken, but fingers crossed, hopefully they will have one. The rotisserie chicken, honestly, I've tried them from a lot of places. I've tried them from Target, Walmart, Tom Thumb, and from any price range from, you know, $5 to $10 to $12. But honestly, my absolute favorite one is from Walmart and it is $4.97. I've gotten it before there for like three something before. I don't really know why. Like after a certain time, sometimes they discount them, which is probably why there's never any left. But the ones from Walmart are oddly buttery. They are just like melt off the bone very buttery and it's only five dollars it's actually cheaper to buy the dog's rotisserie chicken and i get to eat some of it than it is for me to buy their dog food obviously you can't only feed your dog rotisserie chicken because it doesn't have all of the other nutrients that they need but every once in a while i do like to do the rotisserie chicken for them and for myself i like it too so that is the plan i filmed a video today i tried to film my saint laurent collection hopefully it came out okay i haven't put the footage onto my computer yet but i don't know if it really looked good i think I don't know. I don't know if I really like it, but I did film it twice. I filmed it with me just sitting, showing you all the different things, and I also filmed it behind the camera like I have done all of my other ones, so we'll see how the footage is. I might have to reshoot my sit-down part because I don't... I didn't watch it, but I had seen, like, preview of it, like a thumbnail, and I didn't really like how it was looking, so we'll see. Plus, it was a little bit cloudy today, so the sun was kind of, like, in and out, in and out, in and out, and I forgot to turn off the air conditioning so you hear that, and just we'll see hopefully it came out okay because I really hate reshooting things you lose some of the enthusiasm that you had the first time around because then it starts feeling like work the more times you have to film it like the Chanel intro I think it took me like 12 different tries and what I wanted that was the first take of that day though and that's the one that came out the best because it was the most natural but anyway I'm gonna get going because if I stay here any later for sure there will be no rotisserie chickens success we got the chicken I'm gonna get this one right here. They were sold out in the section where I normally get them, but there were some here still, and they're hot. I only get it hot because the cold ones don't reheat well, and they end up not tasting buttery, and they're dry. You gotta get the ones that are, you know, still warm. Finally, you guys get to see the chicken. I wish you could smell it. It smells buttery. I'm gonna have two very happy dogs, and I'm happy too. I've been craving this, actually. And I probably could eat an entire rotisserie chicken. I've seen some of those eating videos and I'm like, this is the least impressive to me because I could actually do that. I think though, I'm going to maybe make some stuffing to go with it. Does that sound like it? I think I've got chicken stuffing. I don't know, I'm gonna start breaking this apart and I'm gonna eat the, the legs and then I'll see if I wanna make stuffing or not. But the dogs will be happy. You know Toshi's already right here waiting. Already waiting, but not begging, which is nice. It's a subtle beg. I don't know where Evie is, she must not know. She didn't get the memo, she hasn't smelled it yet. Honestly, I think I've gone like four or five times to try to get this, finally got it today. And it's 8.30, so I didn't even get it really any earlier than I normally do. I had to show you this, I just took a bite, literally falling off the bone. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Walmart rotisserie chicken, it's so good. Oh, and for people that were asking me before, this is the model of vacuum that I have. I had done an unboxing of it or just whatever of it when I first bought it, but I never put the vlog up, so my bad on that. But yeah, so that's the one I have. I've always had the Dyson Animals, but I did get the cordless one, so it's charging right now, 
and then it doesn't last that long. It lasts for maybe a half an hour. There's one that lasts a little bit longer than that. I think 15 minutes more, but it was a lot more expensive, so I didn't get it. But yeah, it's got kind of a small tank. You just have to empty that out. But I've always liked Dyson vacuums and I've never really had a problem with them. They had their rotisserie chicken again and I think it's like 9 o'clock almost, so I don't know. Two little chew things for the dogs, Coke, pineapple chunks because I'm out, and also these, also these damn hot fries because I'm also out, which I shouldn't be getting. But I was reading all the comments on how much you guys liked them and then I wanted them again because you know I'm easily influenced about food. All I have to do is hear something about it and then I gotta get it. So here we are. So I saw what happens to the chickens because after I got mine, I saw the guy that works at Walmart come and take all of the chicken and everything off of the shelf. So what I think they do is they maybe move it to the deli section or whatever, but I did see him physically remove them today. So I assume this is where they go now. So I just placed my order. I got a double-double with onion and then I made my fries a cheese fry because I'm pretty hungry right now. And also, let's not even lie, in and out fries are not that good normally. Sometimes if they're really fresh, then they can be good, but a lot of times they're just hard and bland, so the cheese really helps. And then I get the meat patties no salt for the dogs, which um, they used to call them dog patties, but now I guess people, other people eat them too, not just dogs, so I get three of them now because one meat patty really isn't enough. It's really not enough for either one of them, but I don't really want them eating a ton of ground beef. It's really just kind of a treat for them. Evie probably gets one and one third, and then Toshi gets one and two thirds just because he's so much bigger than she is. That's what I ordered for them. It was 13 something I think and then plus they'll have the rotisserie chicken either for probably not tonight Because they're having in and out but tomorrow maybe I don't know I'm gonna split it up tonight though but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll give them a little bit of chicken as well, mix it in with their other food. Also, for the people that ask me about doing the raw diet for the dogs, um, sometimes I will get the raw freeze dried little things kind of as like a supplemental thing for them but I don't like to give it as just their regular food they like it in addition to or mixed in but they actually don't normally like it as their regular meal they prefer something hot so um, I don't know that's just their preference but I do kind of switch up what they eat I don't feed them the same thing all the time just because they do get kind of bored not so much Toshi, but Evie really is kind of a finicky eater especially in her older age so I I do kind of switch up what I give them, but sometimes it's just based on what they end up liking because there are certain things that she just won't eat. So these are the meat patties with no salt. I've showed them before on Instagram and I've tried them, they're good. I'm gonna go ahead and give them theirs first because I want them to have it while it's still warm and these can get cold kind of quick. Actually, everything from In-N-Out gets cold kind of quick. Like these fries are already cold. A lot of people say that if you're eating at the same time as your pets, like you should eat first and then give them theirs because it establishes dominance or whatever. I mean, we don't normally eat at the same time, but I want them to still have it while it's hot and I don't really feel like we have necessarily a dominance issue anyway. So just wanted to clear the air on that because you know how the comments get. Are you ready to have some in and out You want the in and out You don't have to huff at me, okay? Maybe they do have a problem with dominance, I don't know. Bossy, are you excited? You want your in and out Okay, I'm gonna get it ready for you right now. I gotta give them more water, but I ripped them up. I usually rip it up pretty small because Toshi eats way too fast, but they're waiting. Okay, go ahead. Good job, guys. Toshi wants to take this as soon as she's done with it. That's why he's laying here that close. Sometimes he'll make a noise at her. Toshi, why don't you take this other one? You want this one? Take it. Good boy. This is very satisfying to me as a dog mom. I could watch this for a while. I won't make you watch it for a while, but this makes me happy to see them enjoying the things I just bought for them. Sometimes Evie can get very possessive over stuff, so she'll snatch something right out of Toshi's mouth and Toshi doesn't say anything. Or sometimes he makes this weird like monkey cry. I don't know, it sounds like, it's not like crying, it's almost like he's yelling at her but not barking. I guess it's similar to like a Shiba scream a little bit but it's more whiny than that. I don't know how to explain it but he only does it at her when she has something that he wants because he's actually submissive to her. Oh my god, how cute are they? I'm so happy and look at they're close to each other and they're not even, you know, getting crazy. Evie normally does not like Toshi being so close to her but she must be really enjoying this chew. Well, it looks like I might be going to the mall today. Finally, of all the times this has been dropped in the short amount of time that I've gotten it, it finally did get a crack in it. 
and I do have the Apple Care Max or whatever it is or what uh, Apple Care Plus. So it will cost me $29 to replace the whole screen. I know a lot of people are probably gonna talk to me about the glass screen protector that they sell. I don't really like the way it looks on, on the phone. And this was supposed to be actually a really, really hard screen. This now just fell off the couch onto the floor, which was not a hard fall, but it must've just fell just right. So I really didn't think that I was gonna have a problem with this, but I mean, obviously I did. They're gonna replace this full glass screen for me for $29 I think it is and the glass screen protector that they sell is $40. Truthfully, I really didn't think that the screen was gonna break just from like reviews that I had seen or heard about as far as the screen being pretty tough. So I don't think I would have that problem. I'm still not gonna buy the glass screen protector because I'll just get the screen replaced each time. I'm gonna go ahead and back up this phone onto the computer and then go ahead and get the screen replaced. Ended up really being too late to go and fix my phone, so I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. Right now I'm just at Target, what the heck? I wanna look for these eye drops that are supposed to make your eyes look like whiter, or not Visine, it's something else. I'm supposed to use this at night, but I don't, cause it's, you can't see anything. Well, not that I can see anyway, but it puts like a gel over your eyes, so you can't see. My eyes get, my eyelids don't close all the way when I sleep sometimes, and so the air conditioning can irritate it. This is what I was talking about. I don't get a lot of sleep, plus I wear contacts, so a lot of times I feel like my eyes look really red or dark around the iris, so I'm gonna try these. So it does say I can use it with contacts, I just have to use it before contacts. Why isn't this focusing today? Really? I don't know why this is giving me a hard time focusing today, but it does say I can use it with contacts. Just put it in before the contacts. So I'll go ahead and give that a try. I keep seeing the commercials for it. Guys, tell me this dress doesn't look like that gray one that I like from Forever 21, and it's about the same price. I'm gonna get it. Try it out. Here is the information if you guys wanna check it out online, and I'll see if it fits the same. But it looks pretty much identical. It feels pretty much the same, just a little bit thinner maybe. But yeah, I was walking by that and I was like, this looks familiar because they had a different one. They had like a teal one that looked exactly like it. Like a sea foam, I guess. My bad, sea foam. So this one looked a lot like the Forever 21 one, um, but they didn't have this color at Forever 21, so I'm going to try that one out. Looks like it only comes in two colors. Look who is being needy with their mommy. You wanna jump on me? Go ahead, put your feet on me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, put your feet on me. Oh, she loves to put her feet on me. I was going through some of my Chanel boxes before I put them back up in the closet. If you're wondering why they're out, I needed to look at one of the tags. Uh, one of my followers on Instagram wanted the SKU number for that Egyptian pin, so I had to go through all the boxes. Huh, so I could send it to her. So I can send it to her. Look at her little feet on me. You want to put your feet on me? Oh. Oh. What does she want? What does she want? I think we know. I think we know what she wants, huh? Look at you. My little girl. Oh my god. They did the cutest thing today. This morning, they both cuddled up. And normally, they don't really lay near each other. But they both... Toshi was like up by my shoulder laying with me. And then Evie was kind of down by like my hip or whatever, and at one point Evie rested her face on Toshi's like hind leg. And then anytime he would move, you know, obviously she would growl at him. <laughs> but Toshi's so patient with her, it's amazing. Even though she's a mean lady to him. Even though she's a mean lady to him. But it was cute, I got to hold both of them laying down for the first time, like I'd never have had that before. Or they were both, then they both fell asleep for a little bit because Toshi has like a certain kind of breathing when he sleeps and Evie, Evie does too, kind of, huh? And sometimes she snore. Sometimes you snore. She's been very loving to me lately, I don't know why. I don't know why, she's normally kind of standoffish, but she's been very sweet lately. Hmm, she's been a sweet lady. I know, well we'll go out in a little bit, not right now though, because Evie. I gotta go get my phone fixed. I gotta do that first before it closes. It's too hot right now for you to go out anyway. I don't care. It's too hot. 
It's hard for me to take them out when it's really hot and humid out because Toshi has such thick fur. Like Evie doesn't have much undercoat, but Toshi has so much and he'll be, you know, Evie will be prancing and then I'll look behind me and Toshi's like dragging, dying, <laughs> breathing so heavy. I'm gonna bring their water bottle with them, uh, with us when we go next time. You know, that little squeezy water bottle that I have for the dogs. But still, he just gets so hot because he has so much fur and it's humid. Like it's hard for me to even breathe. Evie doesn't care because she likes going outside and Toshi likes going outside too, but he just gets so hot so much faster than she does. All right, well, I'm not getting my phone fixed today, but they did give me a slip that I can bring in tomorrow to get it fixed without an appointment. So now I'm just gonna drop off this bag at Saint Laurent since I didn't send it out, but since I'm here and it was in my trunk, I might as well drop it off. And then I'll show you the bag I'm using in a second. Now I'm going back to Louis Vuitton to order a part. This is the bag that I'm using. I'm trying to see if I still like it. It's my Speedy Bandolier 25, and then I've got my little dog luggage tag on it. I don't know why this song came on in my shuffle, but I'm honestly feeling it. Just got my food, now getting gas, then heading home. Look at Evie. I was wondering what she was doing over here. She got a Chanel Camellia flower stuck to her foot. Where did you even get this from? Fancy lady? Where did you even get this from? It's got a sticky side, so she stepped on it and it got stuck. You crazy lady. So I'm off to try and get my phone fixed. I've got the little thing for the, I don't know, they ordered the part. It's just like a new screen, but they told me it's ready. Now I'm gonna head over there. I got caught up talking to one of my neighbors for like 30 minutes, so. I'm a little bit late, but I hadn't seen her in a while, so we caught up. Today I'm using my little Chanel, um, it's like a phone case thing, I don't know. Um, I know you guys want a video on this, so I'm gonna show you what's inside at some point. Um, my keys do fit in there on top too, as well as my phone is in there. There's a bunch of stuff that can fit in here. I don't really have time to show you completely right now because I gotta get my phone fixed, but then maybe after that. All right, here we are again at the Apple store, trying to get my phone fixed. Um, I've got the ticket today, so it should be fine, and then we'll go to Gucci to look at the super mini that I asked you guys about on Instagram yesterday. All right, well, I just dropped it off, but I have to go back at 7.30. I think it's about six now. I don't really know how I'm supposed to know when it's 7.30 because I don't have um, my phone. <laughs> I don't wear a watch, so. I guess I'll have to just periodically ask somebody. Today I can show you this. So there is an ice skating rink. When I was here the other day, it was way too loud because I don't know if they were having a party or something. But yeah, there's a little ice skating rink here, which I think is probably the coolest thing about this mall. Other than that, the mall feels like kind of old, so I'm not all that into it. So now I'm gonna head into Gucci and take a look at that super mini. Thank you guys for all of your messages. I think it's something I have to probably see in person as far as the chain length wise and try on to know if I'll like it or not. But as far as what it holds, I think I'm fine with it because I've got a million bags that don't hold anything. So <laughs> obviously I'm cool with it. Yeah, I really, really like it. I like it more than I thought and the chain was not too long, which is what I was worried about. It was actually perfect. So yeah, I wanna get it. I don't know if I'll get it today or tomorrow. A little bit of a spur of the moment to purchase that I was not planning on because my birthday's coming up and there's other things I wanna get, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna go into Louis Vuitton. I guess there's a bunch of kids taking a lesson now. There's a Gucci I was just in. Going upstairs, there's really nothing that I wanna look at here. And I just bought some thank you cards for my Lux Sales account and my Patreon account. This car looks really pretty with the palm trees. So I'm just waiting to pick up my phone. I kind of ran out of places to go. Uh, everyone thinks it's really weird that I'm vlogging, so I'm getting a lot of people like laughing at me or whatever. But anyway, I think I am gonna go ahead and get that Gucci bag, but I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow from my subscriber. Um, I was gonna order it online, honestly, so I could use Ebates and get cash back, but I will give up my cash back to support one of my subscribers since you guys support me. So I'm gonna hopefully do that tomorrow. Just got the phone back all repaired, nice new glass. My hair is up today, it's second day hair, so it's up, but I basically just put in a ponytail and then looped this little top bit around and um, just clipped it with a claw clip and then I curled these little front pieces. My hair never looks good up on camera, so I don't know, but I like it up in real life. 
Also, this is the bag that I'm wearing today. It's the multicolor pochette on the new model strap. So this is the Target dress, but since it's shadowy, I feel like you can see like every part of my stomach. Here's my little combo for the day. Apparently like me walking to my car is now becoming a thing in these vlogs that for some reason I show you and talk to you. I don't know why. All right, well, I guess it's busy today because I, wait, did I lock the door? This is a big bag for what's inside. Now I'm gonna go into Louis Vuitton again because I wanna see if they have this card holder. It stinks that I can't film in here. I don't know if I can, but like I don't ever wanna risk it because like, I don't like to get yelled at or that kind of confrontation, so I just don't. I didn't see this yesterday. Look at all the Murakami stuff. I'm definitely gonna go in there, take a look. So I just got home, it is nine o'clock and this is my first meal of the day. I've got two slices of veggie pizza, which I'm gonna have right now, but I wanted to show you guys cause you guys like to see what I eat. I had coffee this morning, but I've been running around all day and this is the first second I've had a chance to eat something. So I'm gonna eat this now. And then I've got a long night of filming, editing, going to the post office and stuff like that. This is not really enough calories for the day, so I don't know if I'll have something later, but it's already late, so I might, I don't know. I have no idea, but I just was way too busy today. It's from Sbarro, by the way, which I love. I've loved Sbarro since I worked at the mall when I was like 17, so. I, I actually think I liked it before then as well. I don't always get the veggie pizza. I will sometimes get the Supreme, but most of the time I get the cheese. It just didn't look all that fresh today. Just when I thought I was done running around for the night, I realized that before I go to the post office, I need three bubble mailers to send out the stuff to you guys. But that's where I'm going right now, and then I'm gonna fill everything out. I still have to write cards. That guy waited for me for like five minutes to take that spot, and there was an empty spot right next to me. He could have taken it, and his car would have fit in there, so I don't know what was going on with that. Oh, you know what, as an update, we did put the mirror up, but we used these nails that were too long and it ended up getting stuck. Apparently there's, they put like wood behind everything, not just like studs. So I have to fix it. I have to get a hammer. I don't have like a regular hammer with the two little prongs on the other end, so I've got to borrow a hammer. So I haven't showed you guys yet because it's not fixed, but maybe I'll show you anyway. I've been using it actually to do my makeup because the lighting is really good. I'll show you it before I fix it, but you know, it's not gonna look exactly how it's supposed to look. How did I end up in the makeup section? What was I getting? Bubble mailers, this is not it. I thought this said swoozy for a minute. I was like, man, he's got a line of body pillows now? The heck? <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a picture and send this to him. I guess really not that close, but when I just first looked, that's what it looked like. Sorry for the noise. I have the patio door open because you know Mr. Man likes to be out there. I really gotta clean up my place today. I keep so much stuff out when I'm filming, so... He's hot. Can I shut that patio door now? Do you mind if I close the door? I'm gonna close it probably. Yeah, I told you it was hot outside. I told you it was hot outside, I told you. So today is Sunday and I think this is gonna be the last day of the vlog. I think that's how I'm gonna do it from now on. I don't wanna vlog for longer than a week for the footage. I feel like I always post my videos on Sunday, so just made my coffee. I'm actually gonna have this little Activia yogurt. It's one of those little probiotic yogurts. It's really small. It's the last one I have left, so I feel like, I don't know, I, it bothers me sitting in my fridge, so I'm gonna eat it. And then I've got Mr. Toshi Bear breaking his legs again. How do you sit like that? Toshi, I really fear for your hips. I don't know if I've showed you guys this before. I've definitely vlogged it, but who knows what happened to the footage. You know how Sheba's kind of, they can lay down and do that little froggy thing like Evie used to do? She doesn't really do that anymore now that she's older. But this is like next level. He's basically doing a split. Please fix those. Fix that. Fix this one too. Fix it. That's a little bit better. He wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E That's what he thinks that if he sits here and then looks up at the cabinet where I keep them, that that's him signaling to me that he wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E Evie will bark at me and yell at me, but Toshi just will sit there very patiently and stare. I've seen him stare for like an hour before. I was just testing him, you know, to see how long he would actually pay attention, but it turns out pretty long time. Okay, go ahead. I don't know where Evie is, but if she doesn't ask for one, I'm not giving it. I just vacuumed this floor, but okay. Quench, quench, quench. 
Hey, don't pick the carpet. That is like my number one thing that I hate that Toshi does. If there's any kind of crumbs, he'll like bite the carpet. Hey, don't pick the carpet. I told you that. You don't pick the carpet. Hey, look at this. This is one of those small spoons. Look at it in the yogurt. There's like two spoonfuls, maybe three in this yogurt. It's so small. Why is it so small? I don't know if this stuff actually works. It's my first time buying this, but I guess it's supposed to help or could help with several different things, not just like digestion stuff, but I don't know. She said it's also not really proven that it works or it doesn't work, so. I had heard that you can't really absorb that much through food though. I tried the like vitamin form or the once a day women's thing or whatever it is, but didn't notice anything. Just picked up some sushi from my favorite like fast food sushi place. I don't know if you guys have one of those where it's not like a fancy restaurant, but the sushi is really good. So I picked up some of that to go home. I just made it because they close at eight o'clock. My stuff just got done and now I'm gonna head home. I've got a long night of editing so that I can get this vlog up for you guys. So this is what I ended up getting. I got two rolls just in case one roll didn't fill me up because I don't plan on leaving the house again tonight. I'm just gonna be editing all night. So this one is a 911 roll, which you guys know that I like. It's spicy tuna with um, spicy mayo and sriracha and avocado. And then this one is a new one. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically spicy tuna with seared tuna on top, plus spicy mayo, jalapenos, and there might be crab in there, I'm not sure. And then of course I got my new little favorite thing to get as kind of like a side, almost like a palate cleansing sushi. This is the Tamago. I don't know why they gave like a little extra piece. It must've just been what was left. Um, but basically it is egg or I don't know, some kind of sweet egg and then rice at the bottom and then they wrap seaweed on it. So I had always been curious about that because I see it a lot in like eating videos and I know kids really like it, so I was like, oh, if kids like it, it probably is not like gross or anything, but yeah, it's good. It's nice to eat kind of in between if you're tired of eating. I don't know, sometimes you get tired of the same flavor as a roll goes on, so this is a nice one to break it up, and I do use soy sauce with this just because it is, I don't know, because it's sweet, I wanna add salty to it, because you guys know that I don't normally like mixing sweet stuff with my food. So just to update, both of these rolls are actually really good. I'm glad that I tried the other one because it gives me a little bit more variety if I wanna switch up the taste a little bit, slightly, because it's basically the same ingredients, but I like them both, so I'm happy with that. I gave the extra little piece of tamago to the dogs and they liked it, it's just eggs so they can have it. Don't mind my hair today. I just let it air dry last night after the shower so it doesn't look fancy or anything. I don't look fancy or anything. I just have this t-shirt on and shorts. I've got to look over some contracts tonight for tomorrow. I like to do a lot of my work Sunday night to get a head start on Monday. I don't know why, I just, I really look forward to Mondays, which I know sounds weird, but I guess because I don't go into an office, I always look forward to Mondays because then I know I'll be getting new emails and different things, different projects, but I like to take care of what I can on Sunday night so I feel like I've gotten you know the jump on Monday. So. I'm gonna be doing that. I basically just have work all day today and then probably tomorrow as well. So she's looking my leg. Why are you looking my leg? He wants more of the tamago. <laughs> as sad as it is to see that, I'm gonna have to wait on these two last pieces because I'm so full. Adding the extra roll really took it to like the next level. It's way too much food for one person. I had the crab yesterday, but I didn't show you guys because I was having a problem with my computer and I was trying to upload vlog footage and basically I kind of ran out of space on my computer so I was having to clear things out so I didn't get a chance to show you. I took a poll yesterday if I should have crab or sushi and then I ended up having crab and then sushi today. So apparently I was in like a seafood type of mood. By the way, everyone voted for sushi yesterday, but I don't know, I ended up wanting the crab and then got sushi today.